As New Yorkers stayed home during the COVID-19 pandemic, deliveries surged. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you too. Shop in NYC launched in June 2020 as an alternative to Amazon, Walmart, and Target. The online marketplace, based in Brooklyn, has capitalized on people's desire to buy local and a growing expectation of same-day delivery. I started shopping in NYC when the pandemic started, and I saw that all of us go to Amazon or Walmart to get whatever we need to get and get it to our door. And I asked myself, the businesses around the neighborhood that we really care about will provide that service to us. Why we're not going and shopping with them, even if they have e-com. Shop in NYC founder Maya Komarov asked around and found it wasn't convenient to shop local during a pandemic. People didn't want to go to five different store websites, pay five delivery fees, and get five packages in the mail. Also, most stores couldn't offer same-day delivery. Why not to use technology to connect all of the inventory that is already exist in the city into that everything store to create the same experience as we can get from Amazon and leverage the stores and their inventory. And when I came with that idea to some stores, I got a very good reaction uh, and I start to build that. Shop in NYC offers more than 70,000 products from more than 70 businesses, some shops, some home-based. Delivery is available in Brooklyn and Manhattan south of 125th Street and free for orders over $59. Customers can also donate to a local nonprofit or choose a school to send 1% of the sale amount. Komarov says the website, with its Shop Brooklyn Not Bezos slogan, launched with $2 million in investor funding and is not yet profitable. But she says sales and revenues have been growing 25 to 50 percent month over month, and the site has 17,000 users. Since the start of the pandemic, almost half a million more packages are delivered daily in New York City, and that's not counting restaurant or grocery deliveries. And while the largest e-retailers reaped record profits in 2020, many local stores struggled to survive. More than 800 of the city's retail businesses closed permanently between March and July. During lockdown, I was pretty petrified about losing my store because it is also like my heart and soul. I love it so much. In a typical week, we get between five and 10 orders every day from shop in NYC. And it's a significant um, boost to our, our revenues for sure. Here's how it works. In the morning, orders are sent to a program called OnFleet and organized into routes. Associates receive assignments and travel by car to businesses to pick up orders. Usually the routes be up at around 10.30, so like you have enough time to reach the store for 11 o'clock. Today I'll be going to a place that sells hardware, gifts, toys, and shoes. I got about seven stops. They're not too far apart from each other. You want the order number or the um, item? Order number. I got 10697. Yep. I got 10727. It's had a great impact on us. I feel like all of Brooklyn now knows about us. Thank you. Thanks. I'll probably have a good one. I would rather people spend their money in their community in Brooklyn than shop on Amazon. Um, when I sell on Amazon, sometimes I wonder why I'm sending crayons across the country. When they're finished with pickups, associates head to Shop in NYC's Fulfillment Center in Gowanus. We sort all the different orders into the customer orders, which will then be rolled back out of this warehouse in the evening and are going to go directly to the customer's door for same-day delivery. My neighborhood that I have, I got Park Slope, I have a little bit of Red Hook and Bay Ridge. So all my 32 stops is in that area. Komarov says Shop in NYC makes money through delivery fees and by charging participating businesses a fee of up to 19% on each sale. Businesses can pay a lower fee if they agree to raise their prices on the site to cover the difference. Komarov says most choose to do that and pay a 10% fee on average. Well, have a good one. Have, enjoy your day. The model relies on people's willingness to spend more on products they oftentimes could find cheaper elsewhere, to support businesses and delivery workers who the company pays a higher than average wage. 
part of the feedback that I got also from people that they said like, we don't want to do business as we did before the pandemic. There are a lot of values that I think people are thinking much more and for a business like that that started to support the community and started because of the need to build that with those values is, is crucial. Even as vaccination levels increase and more people return to stores, researchers expect the number of daily deliveries in the city to hold steady. For Shop in NYC to be successful, it needs consumers to buy into the idea that they should shift the way they shop online. The startup launched a campaign that asks people to pledge to do 20% of their online shopping in New York City stores. I believe that if we build a product that everybody wants to be part of, that's the way to win and bring the city back.